Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, some of the rules, the new rules that are coming in in regards to um, getting payment holidays and issues with mortgages. If you have got problems going forward with mortgages, uh, the payment holiday scheme, the official payment holiday scheme is coming to an end on the 31st of October. So in this video we'll talk about what's next and what happens if you do come across problems uh, or you're made redundant and how you can uh, try to deal with the lenders and some of the consequences in that. So please watch, like and subscribe as always and thank you so much. Hi, it's Pai, I'm here from Niche Advice, hope you're well. Right, um, we've got uh, some breaking news really from the Financial Conduct Authority in regards to forbearance rules uh, for payment holidays going forward. Obviously we had the payment holiday scheme um, that all the lenders had to abide by. That's ending on the 31st of October. And what that was really, it was people who had difficulty could approach their lenders and try to get a payment holiday. Uh, and there were millions and millions of people actually went for that option. Uh, the problem was a lot of those people, uh, a lot of them didn't need that payment holiday. Some people were not actually affected by it. They just thought, well, it's a good idea just in case we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get the deferred because you don't know what, what, what was happening. You know, obviously jobs could be at risk and stuff. So a lot of people opted for it just in case. Now, uh, and, and that didn't affect anyone's credit profile. Obviously the lenders got inundated with lots of calls and services dropped and a lot of people couldn't cope with it. However, from a client's perspective, a lot of people do, took advantage of that. Um, now what, what's happened is now that scheme's uh, finishing, Obviously, there's still going to be problems. There's still going to be pe people that are going to be made redundant. There's still going to be people uh, that have got issues. So what the regulator has done is put in uh, a, 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 some guidance for the lenders. And it's essentially giving the lenders um, some remit to do things. So if somebody phones them and says, look, you know, I'm having dif difficulty because I might have lost my job or whatever the circumstances is around, um, they can then es essentially put in a, a series of measures. Now, that could be from you know changing the the rate they could put a stop to it they can give you a payment holiday they can give you uh, restructuring the term of the product so they can do all sorts of different things really to try to help you but what's very important is the the difference from this time and last time round is it will affect your credit profile okay so if they've done something to your mortgage they will put that into your credit report and that could have a long-term effect on your mortgage ability so um, you know I don't know how quite that's going to be is that if that's going to be seen as a late payment on the mortgage a missed payment on a mortgage it could be a note on the file to say there has been some issues with the mortgage there could be you know there are there are potential uh, problems out there when something goes on the credit report so you've just got to be mindful if you are looking to looking to add that, add this option is speak to the lender find out what the benefits are and what they can do for you if you're in that circumstance but also find out what what's going to be put on the credit report. What are they going to say? How is that going to affect you? Um, because once it goes into the credit report, different lenders have got different policies around late or missed mortgage payments. And uh, you just got to be mindful, just because you are getting an advantage of maybe a couple of months, is that going to have a long-term problem for you going forward? For example, if you're on a two-year fixed mortgage and it's kind of going to come out in six months' time, on a year's time, how will that be viewed? Now, as more information comes out, I will let you guys know about the consequences of taking this stuff and how lenders are actually, um, what are they putting on the credit reports and obviously what the lending policy is around that. But I thought I'll let you guys know that basically there are some clear guidances now in terms of the, the current payment holiday scheme running out on October the 31st and the new form of uh, you know getting in touch with contact with lenders and trying to work something out with them but it's vital if you are having any difficulties before it gets too late you do approach your lender and you look at your options you're not going to it's not going to go on your credit report by you having a conversation it's only it's only done when you agree to the terms by the lender so always discuss it with your existing lender the worst thing you can do is leave it alone and then you start you know getting yourself in financial difficulty the best thing you can do is 
approach these things head on and try to have a plan in place. I hope you found this useful, guys. Um, we are obviously um, authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority, Niche Advice, and, and you know I, I'm trying to sort of give you as much information as we can about this because it's going to be a turbulent time. Uh, and you know uh, anything we can do, uh, do get in touch with us. My uh, website is www.nicheadvice.co.uk and I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe if you can. Thank you so much. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.